Hi everybody, my name is Greg and today I'd like to talk to you about the boop. Ooh, sorry. Uh, buddy, hey, you okay? I didn't mean to kill you. I only drove over you. I mean, you didn't like that Warhog sandwich? Oh, burn, burn. No, it wasn't even funny. Fail. Well, sorry about that. I think I found out why Carter never drives in Halo Reach. And, uh, yes. So, word to all you Spartans out there. Don't drink and drive a warthog or fly a falcon. I'm coming for you. Uh, <laughs> what's up, guys? Um, this is Wicked Play 1, 2, and 2 here with a different kind of review today. Today I have the Halo Reach Warthog. Yes, it's very cool. Um, yeah. Oh, and in case you were wondering, um, yes, Carter is in a timeout in that corner over there. Yes, very bad boy. Um, <laughs> now in case you were wondering, uh, I've had this for a while, and, um, I can't describe how much I like it. Um, it's very cool. Uh, it's a great thing. Um, finally they're making some kind of, uh, vehicles for Halo. But I'll get into it now. Um, as you can see, wheels obviously both all move. This one moves. That one moves. They move in the front. They all move. Isn't that great? Uh, war, uh, turret 360 degrees. Very cool. It can go up, down. Up, down, side, side. Up, up, down. No. Um, the belt gun can come, not come off, but move. And then you just attach it there by those little pegs on There's pegs. I can take, you can also take this off. Uh, there's little pegs in between there. You put them in the holes there and, and pop it back on. And there you go. Uh, it's got this little radio, like it looks like your remote control thingy, but they also have that reach. If you take a look in journey inside the cockpit, or driver's seat, the wheel does turn. Um, it of course, rotates, whatever. It does not move the wheels at the same time as I'm turning it. But it does turn, so you can act like your Spartan's turning the wheels or whatever. Uh, there's the little, I don't know if you can see in there. Right there, that's where they put the throttle. They, um, and I don't know if you look in the game, but this cannot move, but they push it back and forth, back and forth. The further it goes back, the more it stops. But if you push it forward, it obviously goes, you know what I mean. Um, cool, like kind of glass things, not glass for real, but it's plastic and it looks like uh, the screen of a Warhog, very cool. Uh, sides, um, side looks already right. step part, wheels look good, pretty detailed, not pretty well, um, the turret looks pretty good, you know, all metal, the only thing I wish they would have done is made the Warhog look all metal, it looks like it's brand new, and we all know Warhogs do not come brand new, um, at least when Carter's driving them. Um, they're gonna, I, uh, so far I hear for maybe Series 2 or later Series, they're working on a Ghost as well as a Warthog that are battle damaged, um, and that would be very cool to have. Uh, right now I do not have the Ghost, um, uh, and, um, I wish I did, but I don't yet, but I, uh, will get that in the future. I uh, definitely want to buy, like, uh, uh, the battle damage, and I hear they're making rocket hogs, and, go, uh, what is that called, um, damn, I can't remember the name, but it's a rocket hog, the regular default, and, uh, the thing that, oh, damn, I can't believe I can't remember the name of that, it, uh, you pull the trigger once, and it's like a cannon burst, uh, I think it starts with a G or a J, I forget, I have not played the game in a long time, so, um, please forgive me about that. Uh, if you guys want, leave a comment down below and tell me what the name is, because I forget right now, but I'll probably go look up later and, uh, see what it is. Um, but yeah, overall, a uh, great thing. I love Warthogs. Uh, one thing I wish they would make next, um, after they're done with the whole Warthogs and Ghosts and all that stuff, I really want them to make a Falcon, like a big Falcon. Wouldn't that be cool? You could have a driver and have, like, the Noble team sitting in it. That'd be so cool. Um, but, yeah. So, before I sign off, just want to say Carter's going to be out in the timeout corner for, like, two more minutes. Yes. 
and I am sorry, but there were elites harmed in the making of this film. Please have a moment of silence for him. Okay, it's over. I don't care anymore about him. Um, yeah. So, what we're gonna do now is put him under the truck. <laughs> Alright, this has been a review from Wickedfully1212. And I hope you liked it.